the answer to chess that's all that's what it's all been about from 2019 to 2022 the answer to chess that's what we've been working on let's uh, develop here Okay, looking at the answer to chess again. This is the finale for the streaming sessions that I've been doing for the answer to chess. And it's been a successful project. 2017 we started the process of the answer process in its smallest form and then 2019 really properly started kicking it in and in a sense maybe the lockdown process helped in a way give us a bit of focus on what we needed to develop on and creating a nice little toolkit for ourselves so there's lots of concepts in there but it's really made me enjoy the game even more we don't win all the time you know we we lose like everyone else but it's an interesting de development there's a lot of pawns being pushed down here okay let's just bring the bishop here let's just castle Interesting situation. They must be just practicing, just playing with the pawns. Uh, let's go here. A lot of stuff's gone on, so I may as well just see if we can open up some space. Yeah, I think they're doing an exercise of not using any of their pieces, aren't they? Hmm. That's quite funny. Which is best? Queen. And it's on here. Knight's protecting there at the minute. Or the knight, which is on here, but the knight's protecting at the minute. 
rectangle here but the bishop's protecting that square this knight's going to get challenged at some point isn't it but I'm going to go with the queen so it's one two two moves to get to the knight let's attack the rook Rook's in the centre of the board now, so we could look to attack it, or we could look to bring the bishop and put a check on the king. If we did attack it, then it is probably coming swinging into the middle. We'll have like a 2 on 1, but he's got a 2 on 1 protection there. I think go with checks first, yeah? Position, checks, captures, threats, support, blocking, position. Always going to be going there, but I suppose they had choices of the night as well. And moving the king. Anything else that we want to go in there? Is there any other magic or I don't think there is really. I think we we'll just take the bishop. Yeah. Can't go there, can't go there. The physicality of it, it can go backwards, but does that work? Knight takes wants to jump here. Oh, that looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. For some strange reason, I'm reluctant to take the bishop. So it's my gut telling me not to take that bishop for some strange reason and just develop another piece to attack. Maybe attack this pawn here with the bishop. I think I'm going to go with my gut feeling. Um, I was just going to whip it off the ball, but I'm thinking, eh, get the knight here, the knight's attacking the rook, rook comes across, maybe the queen takes or whatever, but at least there's something there. So we're getting more pieces, putting more pressure on other pieces. That must be a plus. And it's quite fitting for the finale. We've got the washing machine kicking out its stuff must be going for its um, last cycle any minute now okay so he's actually taken so got to be careful though aren't we don't have a check on our king does he so let's go here yeah. In the basic nature maybe he's probably going to attack the knight as well knight has to come back get here jump here something like that so it's a bit scrappy well it's based on these pawns that were pushed down earlier hopefully we're demonstrating that just pushing the pawns with no support obviously is quite dangerous that's why I didn't really say it was dangerous in the early part because I thought, well, some players can play like that and magically end up supporting them somehow or putting pressure on your king area. I thought it was going to keep putting pressure towards here.
Well, they've eventually moved and moved the rook, attacking the bishop. Looks like this is going to be a long game, but we could keep it simple. Let's have a look, see what the queen's got. Uh, queen doesn't have much really, so it's going to have the pawn on the back here with the rook. It's got a two on one, hasn't it? But uh, yeah, yeah, and he, yeah, he could do that. We could push the pawn here, supporting. So if the bishop takes, pawn takes. But if the bishop takes, queen takes first, get a check on the king. Okay, I think that might work. Let's just push the pawn here, keep it simple. Okay, so the rooks move down, supporting the bishop. Nice touch. And do we want to now double up with the rooks? Putting a bit more pressure on the bishop, but realistically, where am I looking at going? Because we can't stay here forever. King is right here. How can we get to it? The knight now that is not really needed per se. I suppose it is in a way, isn't it? Because if the bishop takes. If we jumped in here. I think that we're taking away too much support for this pawn, this bishop. So bishop takes, pawn takes. This pawn doesn't have any protection on it, but I'm just wanting to keep that. Mind you, maybe we don't need to. If we take the pawn with the queen. <coughs> take the pawn with the queen. His rook can come and face us off. Because it's got the support of this. What else has he got? I'm trying to find a way into there, King, but it's just, at the minute it's looking a bit tight. I'm going to take this pawn. And got the rook looking to potentially come here. for a, a mama think so we'll pause okay so the rooks come here what does that mean it means we can come back here and attack the knight and the rook with the queen that's what I think can happen I'm gonna go with that because it's a double attack I'm still conscious that coming here his bishop doesn't have a check on my king so I'm okay with that anyway the queen is supported if he did do that so they may just rush and take because then the rook is supporting the rook but then we do have a check on the king Kind of like a no, it's not checkmate because he's got this here. But then we'll win his. I know, yeah, we'll win his queen, won't we? Because the rook will come across. Something like that, but it all depends on what they actually do now, doesn't it? So I don't want to overthink it. Bit of bad sportsmanship going on here. Um, going down to 30 odd seconds now. They haven't made a move. As we said, potential for these. Um, at the end of the day, if he makes any kind of move, if he, if he makes a queen move or here, here, it's going to be checkmate. So that's the key one. So the only move he can make. Oh, he's actually made a move at last. Crikey. Yeah, so he's blocked off. 
the attack here. There's zero increment on this game, so it's um, going to be a bit of pressure, unless of course they've got some sort of checkmate pattern going on. So we can take this rook here. Um, yeah, I didn't envisage them bringing the rook there actually, that wasn't even in my calculation. Can we squeeze in somehow? Can't squeeze in here. I think we're just taking this rook, aren't we? And then the bishop doesn't have a check on our king. He's probably going to just take the bishop. Okay, let's take. I don't think they'll have enough time to make a move because they're taking so long over the moves. They'll just run down the time. Yeah, it's a bit of bad sportsmanship, that. Okay, the answer to chess. Oh, <laughs> try to do a preemptive. Right, let's go there. So, what's the deal here then? What is the deal? Let's just push this pawn. King's got company, he's got a pathway coming towards our king here, so. They're going to probably try and fashion some sort of yeah, attack towards the king area. Let's go. And is he going to be one of those that actually takes to open up space in front of the king? I've got the knight protecting that square. Let's just push. Push again. X-ray through to the queen. Queen moves off the line, obviously, but then we double the pawns in front of the king. We we'll still have pieces around the king area. I don't know if we can squeeze them in though. He's keeping the diagonal. He's looking maybe to get his rook here to come down and face our king off. Do we have? Is it the pawn push or is it the knight? At the king making space for the rooks. Ooh, a lot of things in my head there. Knight attacking the bishop. Bishop moves back. Knight comes here. Pawn pushes down. Let's attack the bishop first. Goes back. Got space to attack here. Takes takes potential. There's potential. Um, there is the option of here, but this pawn's just going to drop. How does that look? And if that pawn drops, this knight is free, but then the queen is defending. That knight pawn drops, then the knight can go here, putting a check on the king. Hmm. I don't think they're going to drop the pawn, though. Am I? I think I'm overregging the pudding here. Uh, okay, let's try it anyway. Oh, it does take. Damn, I didn't even put that in the equation, did I? <laughs> okay, let's grab. Oh, that was a bit simple. Simple. I didn't think they were going to take. That's messed everything up now, so I can't go here. His knight's there. Gonna have to. Whoops, steady on. Gonna have to move the king and uh, get the rook here. And maybe go for the cheapy. Oh, it's 
not give enough time to do any of that. If we take this queen from the attack in here, I'm gonna have to move. Can I put a two on one? But then his rook comes and then my queen is two on one and his rook comes we take here but then I'm going away from my own king. It looks nice but I don't think I like that. King. Move the king, keep it simple, I think, just to uh, bring the rook across. Maybe try and double up on this. Uh, oh no, he's going to get my pawn with his rook. Damn it. I can always push here, can't I? I need to get more, 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 more. Ok, let's put the two on one, give them something to think about. Drat. Ok, so he's gone there, that's fine. We can take the pawn, but I don't really want to go all the way over there. So now his rook's not focused on coming for our pawn. We could take the knight off the board with a check on his king, his rook takes. Do you know what? I think I'm going to just nip this pawn off the board. I think I'm going to do that. Come, come back up. Whoa, whoa, steady on. Messing about with the... Come back anyway. Could come here. Just to be an annoyance. Or keep my king with some company. Yep, yeah, okay. Might help with the attacking this pawn here. Moved off the line. Is this time to take the pawn? Take the knight, sorry. Just want his knight to get activated. Ooh, but then his rook comes here and then he's supporting the pawn. So the whole doubling thing goes. <laughs> Fake rook, rook's defending. We are plus one, so we don't need to be greedy. Uh, take, rook takes. Attack his queen. Maybe they exchange, maybe they don't. Dun, 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 dun. Let's just take it off the board. take okay so it's looking a bit potential for some drawish type thing shall we go here and shall we attack this rook let's take that off the board and oh steady before we do any of that Shall we push on the other side of the board? Let's maybe try and grab this pawn, but he's just going to come and defend. Anything else? Let's push. Push. He's got the support now, but with the king. So we've given that pawn up, really, for not much, really. <laughs> I don't think we needed to do that. But am I thinking that my king has got some power, or is this a draw? Ooh, stopped me from jumping here. I think I'm getting zugs wanged, aren't I? Yes, I think I'm getting zugs. Has he got more pawns than one, two, three, four? No, one, two, three, four. 
I think I'm getting Zug the if he allows me to get that, maybe not. Or oh, maybe I am. Oh that's so special. Dude. He just has to drop his king down here. Where am I going now? He's faster than me. He's faster than me. Dude. It's just checking all the way now. Check, 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 check. Well, the way he's just played, he must know he's just going to keep the checks on. This is a long pause, thus there's no need for this. Checking here or that square, just checking there for now, I think. And he gets my pawn off the board and is corralling it down. Oh, it's actually gone there. Yeah. I don't think this is a good show this time. His king's just going to take, and then it, I suppose we can take air if he does do that. It's not put a check on me. When I do, when I look at these games and I look at other people's games when they get to these and then they don't put a check on to keep the tempo, they usually do lose out because that tempo is key, isn't it? But if I don't have another check after this, then it's like kind of nugatory because it's just going to take the pawn here, isn't it? Let me come down, put a check on him. And he moves away. And we can take and look for a draw, but we don't have to go for that. Okay, well, we'll give that a try. He's gone for that, so we'll put the check here. Like I say, he doesn't have to go for the draw. He could probably just swing his queen here and try and get me somehow. Um, yeah, let's do that. And yeah, draw. Okay, nice one. Okay, the answer to chess. Win, lose or draw. It's the way you lose. If you're practicing your answer and you feel good about the position, everything, and you've done what you've needed to do in the game, but the opponent just did it slightly better than you, um, you can still say you're using the answer, so long as you have used the answer in the process and you know what you need to develop on going forward, then at least that's um, development, that's progress. So once you're developing, then you'll start gaining more advantages in your games and maybe getting better wins or better draws or better losses, strange as it may seem. Okay, so he's attacking through the centre here. He's looking a bit huffy, isn't he? Let's um, go here. Skip. It's coming for the pawn, but it's also coming for this spot. May as well bring the queen up and protect the pawn. Let's capture it anyway. Tempted to do this. Get the pressure onto this pawn here. Actually taking that. Now he's looking to protect that area, but kind of weakened it a little bit, but we have to prove why it's weak. So shall we just maneuver the knight first to give them something to think about? Dancing night potential for here. So the bishop's guarding that square. Could hit the knight, but the knight wants to come here feeling good, attacking the queen. 
So always got to be mindful where you're sending the knights to. Yep, it's going. Yes, I invite you to attack me. Could go and attack the rook. Not much else happening there, but can the knight come back again? It can come back to safety here at the moment. So again, it gives them something to think about. Let's just do that. Also blocks this pawn for a bit. Don't want to keep the knight there forever, but can we get other pieces involved? Not sure. If we block off this knight's activity, get the queen up. No passageway really for the queen. I have to come here to come here type thing. Got a dark square bishop that needs support, and if we're going to attack the bishop, so it's all a little bit small potatoes at the minute. This knight still waiting to be invited in. Yeah, so don't forget ourselves. And rook can come across, but the knight is protecting that pawn. Now, what's he trying to do? Jam my knight in at this moment? No. Okay. That square bishop really needs to get in the game, but I can't get up. It's like to just offer the take back. I don't know what take back it's asking for because we're just taking this rook off the board. So I don't know if they didn't move too fast then, did they? They took the time with that bishop move. The knight's just sat there waiting, we're looking for something positive to do. Obviously I don't think it's going to last there too long, he's going to move the king to get the, this knight, so we suppose we'll have to come back. If he doesn't, bishop can put a check on the king. Well, they've come down, they're looking really angry now. Looking really angry, we could attack. Or like we said, put a check, a check on the king, but the king does move. Or attack the queen, pawn just drops. I don't think I want to. Let's. I'm gonna have to move the knight, obviously. Maybe, no, not to there because the queen's supporting. And let's just move the knight. So again, it's still not clear it's anything at all. Maybe get this here and maybe attack the bishop. Uh, blocking everything off so it's almost like they can hear me. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. So they look really annoyed that we didn't accept. So we could... Oh no, the queen's trapped, isn't it? The queen's trapped, I'm sure it is. We go here, where does it go? It can't go there, it can't go... Well, it get taken. I suppose it just take, but then this pawn takes. Oh no, it's not trapped. Sorry, it's a queen. It can go to any square, can't it? <laughs> I thought we had the queen for a second. Oh, crack is sick. All right. So there's a little bit of pressure on the higher end. Damn. And we need to be moving this knight, attacking this pawn. Let's attack the pawn. If the knight can grab it, it's attacking the queen. I suppose he just drops, but then we take, then he takes, the queen takes, maybe, and something. Oh, blocking everything. Oh, you just hate games like this. So we go and attack the rook, rook comes down, and he's going to be safe here. That might be a bit of a waste, might it? Attack. So on this pot, on the queen's protecting. Rook comes down. Pawn pushes up onto the knight. It's always wanted this square right from the start, so there's no point doing that. There's no point doing that whatsoever. He's, ba he's baiting us with that. Uh, what else has we got? Bishop, dark square bishop doing something. Uh, Knight comes this way and attacks. 
pawn, bishop comes here and attack. Oh, maybe a double dose. Bishop comes here attacking the pawn as well, so we have three pieces on there. Then he pushes down. Then he pushes down. Then we take. Then he takes. Or he takes with his rook because he's on our knight. Then we take his. Oh, I don't know, you know. I don't know. I think that's giving them too much, isn't it? Uh, let's give it a try. I think it's giving them too much, but at least we've got the rook, and then we've got another rook maybe to support a kind of counter attack defense type situation. Attacking the knight. Knight's got no protection on it. Oh man, this guy's really mad because we didn't accept the tape back. So if we took with the port knight we lose out, don't we? We take the pawn with the knight, the bishop takes, then we take. No we don't. So we're attacking the queen with the knight. Could take with the rook, then we're on the rook. Got a check though on his king. We might as well do that. Hey, he's moved, he's moved, he's moved instead of capturing. What's the deal? Maybe support the bishop then. I think he's just going to attack the bishop with the pawn. But he needs support in there, don't he? We need to be doubling up somehow. Maybe get him queen here. Yeah, but then like, he just simply does that, doesn't he? Maybe not. Maybe just keep my king with some company. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, that was a fairly interesting game. Nice focus. Bit of a quicker game now. Push through the center using the answer to chess. Um, I think I'm taking here. It feels right. And let's go simple. I'm not scared of that, am I? Let's just do this. Simple is a simple does. Little touch here. And I don't mind doubling the pawns ready for getting a bit of castling going here. So he's trying to stop us from doing that, but still get the castling going facing the queen. Oh, maybe not today. Okay. Smaller piece attack and a higher piece. Is he looking to sit here? Okay, maybe not. A bit frantic there. Sights are coming here. But he's looking to congest down my king area, I suppose. Maybe. But I don't think so. Nah. Okay, let's stick with what we were doing. Pawn pushes. The knight's out. Interesting times. Okay. Um, so we're waiting to find something to actually attack with the bishop. So we can get the queen off the board. 
So I'm hoping he goes, but he can't castle because my queen's in the way. So maybe, and maybe he's still going to go castle here anyway. So if we do this, just stop castling that way, but then maybe they go castling this way. And then we can get the, get the queen with a check on his king. I'm hoping that psychology works. Or maybe it's just too obvious. Oh no, they're not doing that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Right, so we have to change what we were looking at doing. We could still move the bishop. It's not devastating enough though, is it? I'm going to bring the knight across. Keep that in the back pocket. They must know about it then because they've not obviously gone on queenside castled. So they're going to be moving the queen for an exchange, I think. Not moving for an exchange, they're hoping that we've forgotten and we're going to go and attack and then his queen takes our queen for free. So that's a bit of a nice touch. Where do we want to go with the queen? Could come here, still x-raying through there to their king. Or do we want to keep here but then the knight takes? So it looks like he wants to go king side castling. He's not comfortable with um, anything for us to attack. I can't really come down here because it's night takes. I'm going to have to come here, aren't I? Let's just do that. Keep it simple again. So now he can go on queen side castle, king side castle. Let's just bring this here. Still haven't got anything to attack because he's still got the rook facing the queen. I know they can see it. But it's what to do about it. I don't really want to waste the bullet, you see. He's moved offline. Okay, so I know they saw it. And he's still defending. But now he's moved there, so he's facing our king. So what's he planning on doing? Pushing this pawn down? Let's just take this off the board in the meantime. And if we went and did that, his queen's going to take the pawn here. Is there something we can do to defend? Maybe just bring the queen here. It's attacking the queen. So not too scary I suppose but uh, if we come here I could take this pawn I'm going to take the pawn momentarily on the rook is the rook looking to come down get some salvation maybe here with the queen no oh the queen's defending so this guy is really shifty because they do moves that you know, if you forget yourself and take, then the queen can take. It did the same thing with the knight, you know, um, push the pawn down, the queen's defending. And it's making his way towards our king area, so we have to be very careful of that. Could take this pawn. Could attack his rook, his rook takes, bishop takes. And he's got a back rank threat, so he's going to have to push a pawn down. But his queen is opposite our king. Hmm, okay, take the pawn. I think, uh, let's, let's attack it. And see what devastation. Oh, he's got a check on my king. Just saw it as I put the rook there. With his queen. And he's going to get my bishop off the board. Ah. Oh. Savage. Let's move the king up. Just saw it as I moved then. Should have done a little bit of further. At least I saw it, but it doesn't mean anything. So, is he going to be brave and take? Oh no, he's got a check on. He's got a check on. Do, 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 do. What would happen if I just move my king out of the way? The 
because we do have this situation here, don't we? And the only piece that can come back to defend is the... So if we went there and then he took the bishop, that wouldn't work for them because we'd just take... If he went there and he takes the rook, we just put a check on his king. There's nothing else that can, can come back and defend. So I'm just going to move the king. They've obviously worked out something else, I don't know, but... We seem to have fallen into their lair. So he's not going for that, so we can actually take the rook off the board. Or is there something else, because I didn't expect him to do that. Take the rook. Take the rook, queen takes. He's on loads of pawns. We go up with the check, he just defends. Oh, we go up with the check and he just brings it down. I can't get him, can I? There's a pawn here. So, takes, takes, get rid of this pawn. He gets rid of this pawn. Our knight's kind of trapped. Come back up with a check. Let's just take time's running out now. I think don't think my position's too good actually. Just move and move and move. It's gonna obliterate me, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. What do we have? Poor white square bishop is just not doing anything. Oh no, no more checks. Damn it. No more checks. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt. He's going to have to take, I think. Greedy munch. Keep checking. In fact, that's no, it's not checkmate. It'll just be a draw. Maybe. <laughs> I'm hoping, fingers crossed. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear me. Shabby times. 1 minute 36. Ah, oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Okay, let's just... Oh no, he's got the pawn dropping. He's going to get fancy. He's going to get fancy by both my minor pieces and just not in the game at all. Ah, oh, he's just... Oh. No more checks. Pawn drop. Oh, no. He's going to realise he can just drop his pawn to block. And then what do I do from there? No. Okay. Um, let's go here. Let's go there. And it looks like a free fold thing. Why is it not clicking off? Do we have to press the button? Oh dear me, that was, I think I messed up totally. I mean, I've got pieces all over the place here that just aren't in the game. That's okay though, what's the answer to chess? So we ain't got a draw. So today's session is kicking out quite a lot of quirky games. Yeah, I'm getting some draws here, a bit of an advantage, <laughs> more draws. <laughs> Uh, it's all good though, it's good fun. Okay, so this person's a bit defensive. 
little mini type things going on here but I think they'll get tired of that position they're going to want to start exploding through he's going to suffocate himself okay not like let's just stay uh, castle for ourselves yeah they're a bit sort of defense defense and do we want to see whether or not they're going to be late to the party let's give it a go yep see how late to the party they want to be okay let's grab let's grab this pawn and let's grab very very just safe play but well, again i'm hoping they're late to the party we've got plus one at the moment because they were late to the party they're so defensive it's um unreal let's attack the bishop and the knight Ooh, this one's free with a check on the king and then the bishop's free just a tad late to the party the game's not over but we seem to be accumulating quite a bit of material and they've resigned okay